What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another LEGO YouTube video. Today I am going to be counting down 20 more of my most wanted LEGO Star Wars minifigures that I would like to add to my collection. A lot of the minifigures on this list are quite rare, so I most likely will not add them to the collection, but it's still fun to make these lists and kind of like come up with like an ideal roster of LEGO Star Wars minifigures that I would like to add to the collection. So I'm really excited to go over my picks, even if I'm most likely not going to buy a single minifigure on this list, it's still fun to talk about it. So let's just go ahead and get into the first pick of the like, kind of like my most wanted Lego Star Wars minifigures. And the first one that comes to mind is a minifigure from the Phantom Menace. It is Queen Amidala. I've been thinking a lot about the Phantom Menace with all the 25th anniversary sets coming out. And I really want to add this minifigure to the collection. It's probably one of the most unique minifigures we've gotten from episode one. And it's definitely one that I am missing from the collection. I love the uniqueness of the minifigure. It's definitely one of the coolest Star Wars minifigures we have gotten, but she's also one of the most expensive minifigures out there for the Star Wars line. I think she comes in at at least $100, maybe more, and it's easy to see why. We've only gotten one version of the minifigure, and it's just such a unique character. Every single part of the minifigure is exclusive to this one minifigure, and she did come out over 12 years ago. And then the second most wanted minifigure is Yoda. I specifically want the one from like the 1999 to like 2000s LEGO Star Wars lineup, because I feel like this is the big minifigure that I'm missing from my Yoda collection. I have a few other ones that I'd have yet to collect in my collection, but I feel like this is just such a classic minifigure. I have a lot of nostalgia for it, having played the LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga video game, and it's just got a really good look to it. And I really want to add it to the collection just to kind of like have it alongside the newer versions of Yoda to kind of just like compare and see how the minifigure has evolved over time. And I just think it would be a really fun minifigure to add to the LEGO collection. And then the next minifigure on my list is another expensive one, at least like $100 for this minifigure in 20 24. It's the tactical droid. And it's surprising to see that this minifigure only really came out in one set, given how like big of a role that the tactical droids played in the Clone Wars. It's kind of weird that we only got one version of the character and it only released in one set, which is kind of frustrating. But it's a really cool minifigure. I love the unique head mold and the printing on it is also really cool too. And I really want to add it to the collection, but it is really expensive. So I probably will not, as I feel like this one is not really worth the price too much, but it's still cool. One that is kind of worth the price to me though is TC-14, another Phantom Menace minifigure. This one I think was a May 4th promotion or something, but it's a chrome version of TC-14, which is really cool. I love all of the chrome designs that LEGO does for their Star Wars minifigures and just their minifigures in general. And it's got a very simple design to it, but I just really love the metallic kind of chrome design to it. And it's a minifigure that I would love to add to the collection as I feel like it's one that I it's like just like just the most random obscure character that I think would just look really great alongside some of my other droid minifigures. It's definitely my favorite out of the protocol droids that they have released in Lego and it's one of the big ones that I feel like is missing from my Lego collection. So I definitely want to add this one to my collection. And then another minifigure is from the early 2000s. It's Zam Wessel. Surprisingly, this is the only version of her character that we have gotten in Lego. So she's definitely overdue for an update. Maybe when Attack of the Clones turns 20, we'll finally get one of of her um, that's like more modernized and is not like in the yellow color scheme. But I feel like this minifigure aged really well. I don't really like how yellow it looks. I feel like it just doesn't really look good compared to some other Star Wars minifigures. But like when you have it on the alien side of the face, I feel like she still holds up. I love all the details and the printing too. However, she is a bit on the expensive side, but getting not even close to um, more affordable is Watto and another Phantom Menace minifigure. I promise every minifigure on this list won't be Phantom Menace themed, but this minifigure looks really cool. He's very unique, and this is probably my favorite version of the character in LEGO, and it's definitely a minifigure that I was surprised to not see remade in the new Phantom Menace sets that we are getting in May, and it's definitely one that I want to add to the collection just because of the uniqueness and the role he played in the prequel movies. And then another character I want to add to the LEGO collection, this one's probably more likely for me to buy is Sabine Wren. This is the only version of the character that I don't have. I'm also missing her original helmet piece from that like Rebel Frigate set from I think it was like 2016 or like 2014 or something like that. But this version of Sabine looks really cool. I love the hair piece in this one and I just really want to add it to the collection. I feel like this one, I prefer the first version of the character that we got, but like the collector in me wants to get every single version of the Sabine character. And this is the big one that I'm missing. She's not super expensive since she appeared in an advent calendar. 
I think she goes for like 15 to $20, which is affordable when you compare the prices to like some of the other minifigures on this list. And then another character I want to add to my Lego collection, one of my favorite characters actually from Star Wars The Clone Wars is Savage Opress. I always loved this character growing up and I really want to add this minifigure to my Lego collection. I feel like we're overdue for an updated minifigure that doesn't have like the weird Clone Wars style face. But even then, I feel like the Clone Wars style face does not even look that terrible for this minifigure. And it's just one of those characters that I've always loved. And I really want to have him in my Lego collection. My brother has him and I'm really jealous of that. But like, hopefully we get a remade minifigure because I would love to see one with like more detailed printing and like a better face print. But like, I feel like uh, almost 13 years later in 2024, the minifigure still holds up. And then another Clone Wars minifigure that I would love to add to the collection is Shock T. This is the only version of her that we have gotten in Lego. I would love to see an updated version of the character in 2024 or the next few years that doesn't have the weird Clone Wars style face, but I love all the printing. I love the kind of hair piece that we see for the minifigure as well. The only thing I don't like is, again, the face print and the lack of leg printing, but I feel like given the time period that it released, it's still a very solid minifigure and definitely one of the Jedi Council members that I do want to add to the Lego collection, but I think she's also a bit on the expensive side. I think like $30 to $40 here in 2024. And then the next character from Star Wars The Clone Wars that I would like to add to my collection is technically not a minifigure, but still a cool addition to the list regardless. It is Rod of the Hutt from that Clone Wars movie back in 2008. It's a very unique piece, and my brother actually used to have this figure, and I feel like it's just like the most random, obscure LEGO Star Wars character that I really want to add to the LEGO collection. I feel like it'd be funny to kind of have him displayed with my Jabba's Palace set, and it's just such a unique mold, and I feel like they are never going to remake this figure, because like, why would they? You know, like, why randomly release sets from the 2008 Clone Wars movie? So I really want him for that reason, and I doubt they'll remake him too, and he's not like super expensive. And then another minifigure I want to get is the classic Boba Fett. I would put the Cloud City Boba Fett on this list, but I will probably never own that minifigure as I'm not willing to pay like $2,000 for a single Lego minifigure. And if I was, I probably would not get the Cloud City Boba Fett. But I love the classic design of Boba Fett. This one's about like $50 to $60 here, I think, in 2024. It might be a little cheaper, might be a bit more expensive. I'm not entirely sure, but I just love the classic look to it. I feel like it would look, again, like I said with Yoda, really cool to kind of like have displayed with the modern renditions of Boba Fett just to kind of see how the character has evolved. And it's just a classic minifigure that I would always see in the Lego Star Wars video game. So like, of course, I want to add it to the Lego collection. And then another one I want to add to the collection is the classic version of Jango Fett. He's really expensive, around like two to three hundred dollars, I think. Here in 2024, he came out in the Jango Fett Slave 1 set in 2002. And very cool minifigure. I would love to add it to the collection. I love the kind of retro style of the minifigure that we see here. And it's just a solid minifigure. It's a very simple design and definitely not my favorite Jango Fett design but I feel like just for the nostalgia it looks really cool. I like the balaclava face that he has too though I'm not the biggest fan of the yellow face print as this is before we got like kind of like the flesh skinned toned tones for the Lego Star Wars minifigures but like when you compare him to the modern Jango Fett he still kind of holds up today. He's definitely a bit dated but still looks cool. And then the next minifigure on this list is the angry variant of Jango Fett from I think it was the 2017 Jedi Starfighter with Hyperdrive. This is a more updated look on the Jango Fett minifigure. He's got some better printing than the previous one from 2013. And I also really like the face expression that we have on this minifigure too. And I just really want to add it to the collection as this and the classic version of Jango are the only ones I need. And I also do need the advent calendar one. I have one Jango Fett, so I'm not even close to completing the collection. But this is probably my favorite out of every design that we have gotten. I feel like the helmet just looks a whole lot better and I love the face print on it as well. And then another minifigure from Attack of the Clones that I would like to add to my Lego collection is of course Coleman Tribber, the goat, if you will. I feel like this is such a unique Lego minifigure, and I really want to add it to the collection. And he's somewhat affordable compared to some of the other prices of minifigures on this list. He has such a unique head mold, and he's just the most random character. I'm really surprised we got a minifigure of him, given that like he's only in Attack of the Clones for like maybe like 30 seconds to like a minute, I feel like. But he's just got such a unique design to him, and I would love to add this to my like prequel shadow box display because I believe. He is on the Jedi Council, and I think Obi-Wan takes his spot on the Council, though I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, correct me in the comments. Feel free to roast me, but just very unique minifigure design, I think, and definitely one that I want to add to the LEGO collection. And then the next minifigure on this list, we're finally kind of straying away from the Episode 2 picks. It is from Star Wars The Clone Wars. It is Commander Fox, and more specifically, the Phase 1 version of him. I recently got the Phase 2 version and the new Coruscant Guard gunship, but I really want to collect all the Phase 1 versions of the clones, too, just because... 
I have a lot of nostalgia for him. My brother collected a bunch of the LEGO Star Wars The Clone Wars minifigures, and the Phase 1 minifigures really look good. They're not, like, they haven't, like, aged the best, but I feel like they still look cool, and I would love to have them in the collection. And then the next minifigure on this list is the Cloud City version of Princess Leia. I feel like this is another minifigure that I really want to add to the collection. I have most of the variants of Princess Leia in LEGO. This is one of the main outfits that I am missing, and I feel like they did a really good job detailing this minifigure. She's semi-affordable at, like, 50 to $60, I think, here in 2024, and it's a really detailed minifigure. I like the back printing, and it's just a very solid figure all around, although if I'm being completely honest, this is probably one of the least wanted minifigures that I want on this list, but I still thought it would be cool to include her regardless, just because it's a unique outfit, and one that we most likely will not see again, seeing as, like, I feel like they want to kind of keep it exclusive to the Cloud City set. And then another minifigure on this list that I really want is Grand Moff Tarkin, as this is one of the major villains in the original trilogy, also throughout, like, the Bad Batch TV show in Star Wars Rebels, and we see him in some of Star Wars The Clone Wars. He's just such an important character, and he's one of the most important characters that I do not have in my LEGO collection, so I I would love to fix that and add him to the collection. I really like the version of him that we get in the 2016 Death Star. He's a very simple looking minifigure, but I love the face print of him and the hair piece. And then the next minifigure I want to add to the collection is a bit more of an obscure character. It is the Chrome Stormtrooper, and I believe this was either a May 4th permission or they threw it in with random LEGO Star Wars sets. I don't remember, but I do remember that it is a very expensive minifigure. I think like at least $100 for it in decent condition, maybe even more. And it's just such a unique designed minifigure. I really love this figure a lot. I feel like it's just like it gives off Mr. Gold vibes kind of and I would love to add this to the collection. I feel like this is just a minifigure that'll catch anybody's eye and definitely one that a lot of people do not have in their collection. I feel like this would look really cool like next to all of my imperial displays and stuff. Kind of like the big centerpiece. Here's the big metallic chrome stormtrooper. So I would love to add this to the collection too just because of the exclusivity of it. And then another minifigure I want to add to the collection is the first version of Bosk that we got in LEGO form. I have the more updated version which definitely looks a whole lot better than this version but I feel like this Bosk I really want it for the nostalgia and just to be able to say that I have all of the variations of Bosk in my LEGO collection, and it's kind of cool how different this one is from the more recent, I think it was like 2017 or 2018 version of the character. It's definitely a bit more on the simple side. It lacks leg printing, and the printing is a bit more simple, but I really like the minifigure regardless, and I would like to add it to the collection. I feel like it would look cool next to like the Slave 1 display or something, so I would love to add it to the collection. And then a minifigure I forgot about, and the last minifigure on this list is Jack 14 from the Yoda Chronicles show that we saw on um, Cartoon to network. This is not a canon figure, but like I feel like it's it's an original Lego concept and it's a really cool one too. This is the first uh force sensitive clone that I think we've seen. There might be some in the comics that I have no idea existed, but this is the first force sensitive clone that I have seen and I thought they did a really good job with the minifigure. I love the transparent arm where he's got like the force lightning and the printing on this minifigure also looks really cool. It's just a very detailed minifigure throughout. I love the face prints that we have on him too, the kind of like glowing blue eyes and the helmet also looks really cool too and I love the lightsaber too with the white hill. It's just a very unique minifigure and one that I would love to add to the LEGO collection that I feel like a lot of people forgot about. So that's my list. There are definitely a few other minifigures that did not quite make this list, but like these were like my 20 like most wanted minifigures that first come to mind when I think Lego Star Wars minifigures that I want to add to the collection. So definitely let me know what you thought of the list down in the comments. Let me know if you liked the video and be sure to let me know what your most wanted Lego Star Wars minifigure is here in 2024. But that is all for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one.